Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Squarespace website and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add a new page into your Squarespace website? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a new page for your Squarespace website anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to have various pages inside your website that are directly representing a service or a product. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Squarespace editor. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Squarespace editor and this is the homepage. Now, in order to add another page to your Squarespace website, here on the left side, you want to click on pages. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to see all of the different pages that you have inside of your Squarespace. So you get to choose if you want to add a page into the main navigation. So that will be listed on the navigation for all of your pages. Or if you just want a general page, so it's a page that can only be landed on if it's found through the search engines. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and add a main page here. If you just want to create a general page that someone would need the link in order to access, you're going to click right here. Okay, next you get to choose what type of page you're going to add into your Squarespace website. So you can add a blank page and then design it yourself. Specific page layouts, that's a cool thing about Squarespace is they'll have different designs available for you. Scheduling, if you're going to be booking appointments with your Squarespace website. Portfolio, events, videos. So there's just a lot of different types of pages. For me, I'm just going to do a general page layout. Okay, so here we get to see what types of pages. So showing these large buttons, but if you want to see a smaller version, just click right here and it's going to pile them all in. So just kind of scroll through and then see which one works best for you. For me, this one looks kind of cool. So I'm going to click there. Okay. Once you do that, it's going to refresh as you can see, and then it named my page general six. So this is what the page looks like. So we want to go ahead and change that page around a little bit. So click on this gear menu. Okay. So once we do that, we're going to go ahead and change the page title. So let's go ahead and name something else, YouTube videos. And then what's it going to say inside of the navigation title? You can see it says general six, but we're going to do same thing. YouTube videos Okay, here. We can go ahead and change the slug. Okay. So we change that. So that way it's going to be my URL plus the URL slug. Okay. So that looks good. So we're going to click on save here on the top left. Okay. Now you can see that the menu up here says the title that we typed in and then also the name of the page is right here. So now we have a new page and we can go ahead and edit this page as we see fit. If you want to see what it looks like on a mobile, you can click up here on mobile view and that's what my new page looks like, but we'll go back to the desktop view and you can go ahead and just click in after you click on edit. Okay. Now we can go ahead and start editing the page. So we can go ahead and edit the words by double clicking after edit content. Okay. So here we are dream it, build it, grow it. So right here in the build it, I'm going to click in here and then we're going to go ahead and write up a new description to it now. Okay. So that section has been edited and we're going to go ahead and edit content once again, and then we can change the design. So align it to the left center, right? Maximum columns. We can go ahead and increase that if we want. So we can do six columns, three columns. So it was, and then once we have changed around the new page, we can go ahead and click on save. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to add a new page into your Squarespace website, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.